Right, I wanted to show you the hammer I've made up. Basically, we started off with a chisel similar like this. I've cut the head off of it, roughly where you'll see the chalk mark on it. I've then turned out the top section here on the lathe and drilled a hole down in the back of it and hammered the shaft into it. I've then used a stick welder. Now stick welders are very very useful machines, one of the cheapest welders out there. If you can master them, they're great things. One of the first welders I ever used when I started my time in the shipyards. And I've actually used a couple of different rods here. The chrome type one at the top you'll see here is actually a dissimilar rod. It's used for welding different types of steel together because the shaft's hard and that's mild steel. And then I've welded the face of that and I've used a face hardening rod. What I'll do is I'll grind that down roughly smooth and then I'll put it back in the lathe and turn it down so that it's nice and smooth. And that's the top hammer that will go into the planishing machine. So here it is, just hot off the lathe, literally hot. And you'll see what's sort of job it's turned out. Now there was no chance my tool was going to cut that. The hard facing rods are, as they said, hard. As soon as I put my tool into it, I just took the edge right off it and it was useless. So I sort of cheated and what I did was I set up my grinder and as it was spinning at quite a fast speed, I took the grinder to it. Now I don't recommend this and if you do it and you get injured then you're a twat just like I was doing it. But hey ho, it served the purpose and done the job. There is a wee bit of porosity just on, on the face of that, you can maybe see wee black mark. We'll see if that is going to affect the hammer. If it does, then I will just put an RV spot weld on that and, and stick it back in the lathe. But uh, there we have it. We'll see how it works in the actual planisher and fingers crossed I'm gonna be okay with that. Right, I just wanted to show you, this is the first side done. This is the planishing hammer done. And what I've done here is I've just made up, I don't want a foot trigger on this to start it. And I've just made up a wee linkage device here, which is just spring loaded if you see it in there. And just basically operates that to put the trigger on and put the trigger off. It's fairly straightforward, just a swivel device, very much like a gear linkage in a motorbike. And just allows me to operate it with a one hand. Uh, as in for adjustment in it, we've basically had a clamp here to hold the centre tube and there's a one inch threaded bar that runs up inside that, a large nut welded to the bottom and this disc can turn and when it turns you'll see the adjustment here as it lowers it. I should have put some oil in it first to take it, but you see that there and then I'll raise it. Excuse the loud screeching noise, but you can see the principle of it there, I'll add some oil later on, and basically just a, a bit of tube cut, with a couple of bits of flat bar, a couple of holes drilled and tapped at that side, and I see I put three down here just to give it a nice firm grip, and obviously it, I was able to put three in there with the length of that. So there we have it, that's the planishing side of my tool made up. Uh, I've added a couple of side braces in here, both sides there and up at the top, just to add a bit of extra agility in it. Uh, it's basically got about a 15 inch throat across from the two edges here so it should allow me to do something about 30 inches wide which I can't imagine me making a tank that large. Well just quickly, this piece here is a simply goes down so far in there and also is machined in here to allow these different size hammers in or anvils in and uh, we've already showed you me making the, the hammer end up on it but that was just turned sort of freehand in the, in the, the lathe there and basically what that is is a long sleeve that fits down inside this 
and I've machined a separate anvil which has been welded with hard face rods and similarly put into the lathe and ground roughly to shape so I can make up numerous ones of these as I go along and it simply fits into the top of here and then the whole thing fits into there and the bolts allow me to adjust this up and down so I've got an invariable amount of, uh, of movement in it and we'll see how that works when I start using it. I'll maybe put a clip on me looking end the video with us. So here you can see the whole machine and it's clamped into the end of my motorcycle jig. It can also fit onto into my vice so I can move it about from one side of the workshop to the other when I need it.